Did you know that around 34 million people in the United States have diabetes? That makes up 10% of the total U.S. population. Roughly about 27 million of those people have been diagnosed with diabetes, while around 7 million remain undiagnosed. Also, 88 million adults are estimated to have prediabetes, a stage where an individual has higher blood glucose levels than average but is not high enough to be counted as diabetic. Trends indicate that these numbers are just multiplying themselves with each passing year. A study showed that by 2035, we would have around 592 million cases of diabetes worldwide. If you're somebody who doesn't want to contribute to these statistics, it becomes imperative for you to monitor your blood sugar levels and keep them under control. In today's video, we'll discuss why checking your fasting blood sugar levels is important, how blood sugar affects us, how to regulate it, and so much more. So watch until the end to learn more about blood sugar levels. What do our blood sugar levels tell us? Whatever we eat determines the blood sugar content in our bodies. How? Well, the more carbohydrates you consume, the more blood sugar in your body. What do we mean by blood sugar? Basically, blood sugar or glucose is the primary sugar found in our bodies. It's used by our body to derive energy. Glucose is mixed up in our bloodstream and is transported to every cell of our body, which is then used as a form of energy. When this blood sugar increases, it develops a disease called diabetes. Diabetes is known to be one of the significant contributors to the global burden of diseases. It can lead to severe complications related to the heart, kidneys, and eyes, and in some cases, to limb amputations. According to a study, the death rate in patients with cardiovascular diseases with diabetes is around two times higher than those who do not have diabetes. So now we can see why keeping our blood sugar levels at an average range is crucial. The next time you check your blood sugar, remember that the average blood glucose range is 72 to 108 milligrams per deciliter. How to check blood sugar? You can monitor your blood sugar levels at home using a glucometer or blood sugar meter. This would involve taking a small blood sample from your fingertip, putting it to the test with the help of test strips, and getting instant results on your device. This portable device is an excellent option for monitoring your blood glucose levels from the comfort of your own home. Another method could be a simple lab test wherein you give your blood sample and get tested for fasting blood sugar. Why is fasting blood sugar necessary? When you eat, your blood sugar rises and peaks about an hour or two after a meal. After some time, it falls back to normal. So, checking your blood sugar after a meal won't give the regular figures, but would reflect the sugar obtained from your meal. However, during fasting, the result would represent the regular sugar levels of your body. Under normal conditions, your body releases insulin to absorb glucose and provide energy to your body. But this is not what happens in diabetes. In that case, the insulin either has no or lesser effect on the blood sugar level. Due to this reason, if fasting blood sugar levels are high, it gives a clear sign that the person has diabetes. Apart from knowing whether you have diabetes or not, the fasting test also tells us the effect of medication on already diagnosed diabetic patients. If your dietary changes and medications can control your blood sugar levels and keep them in normal ranges in fasting sugar tests, then my friend, you are progressing. It indicates that you need to continue whatever routine you're following. To get a complete insight into your blood sugar levels and study their fluctuations throughout your day, you should check your blood sugar at the following times. After waking up, before drinking or eating anything except water, fasting in general after two hours after your meal, and finally, the last test just before bedtime. What happens if you have high blood sugar levels? It's also known as hyperglycemia when your blood sugar levels are greater than 125 milligrams per deciliter while fasting and greater than 180 milligrams per deciliter two hours after eating or postprandial. You'll have to pee more often to eliminate excess sugar and your kidneys will work harder to process it. After being processed, our body gets rid of them in the form of urine. And that's the reason diabetic patients have to use the washroom time and again even when their water intake remains constant. You feel thirsty all the time. 
Water makes up for 55% of our body weight in adults. It's responsible for transferring nutrients, eliminating waste, and making energy in your body. So, when your body is put to extra workload because of high sugar intake, more water is needed for these functions. Meanwhile, your body starts draining up its tissues to satisfy the hiked water demand. So, eventually, when you have less water supply, your brain tells you to meet the demand with adequate supply, making you thirsty. And not to mention those skin problems. Due to the ongoing water shortage in diabetics, the skin also gets dry, itchy, and cracked over time, and this may cause skin issues to arise. Blurred Vision Since your body is draining fluid from all possible sources, it might also pull fluids from your eyes, impairing vision. Vision gets blurred and your eyes are unable to focus. In some cases, it may lead to severe damage in the blood vessels on the rear part of your eye or retina, which results in loss of vision. Fatigue Insulin is a hormone secreted by the pancreas which helps the body use or store blood sugar. For people who have type 1 diabetes, their pancreas stops producing insulin. While in type 2 diabetes, the insulin produced has no significant effect on the affected individual's body. Since a diabetic person cannot store food due to ineffective insulin, our bodies keep running low on energy. This is the reason why a diabetic person is always low on energy and seems exhausted. Digestive Issues High blood sugar over a longer period messes up the regular functioning of your body and may affect some nerve functions. You might face constant troubles with your digestive system, like acid reflux, vomiting, and constipation. What happens when you have low blood sugar levels? Hypoglycemia is when your blood sugar falls below 70 mg per deciliter. Similar to high blood sugar levels, low blood sugar levels bring about fatigue. Supposed to lower your blood sugar levels, you take insulin, but you end up administering a little more than required. In this case, more glucose gets absorbed by the bloodstream and will be simultaneously removed from your system as waste. Unable to make up for the loss quickly, your body will run out of energy levels. You will always feel like eating. With low blood sugar levels, intense hunger runs complimentary. Even after having a heavy meal, you think that there's still some space left for extra snacks, and you indulge yourself in a never-ending cycle of eating. This happens because your body cannot convert food into blood sugar, usually due to a certain drug or illness. Your central nervous system can too be affected. Constantly low blood sugar levels can affect your central nervous system, and you might feel lightheadedness, dizziness, signs of anxiety, irritability, sleep disturbances, and in some cases, sweating too. Factors that affect blood sugar levels. Are you tired of getting high blood sugar results again and again? After rigorous brainstorming, you still haven't found the troublemakers behind these high glucose levels. Well, we're here to your rescue. Some factors that can be held responsible for raised blood sugar include dehydration, consuming too many carbs, illness, stress, missing out on prescribed medications, and the most important one being inactive. Now, it's pretty simple if you're thinking about how to deal with it. Make healthy amendments to your diet. Go for fiber-rich food sources like nuts and seeds and nutrient-rich meals with lots of vegetables. Fight your adversaries with a tough and healthy body. Do not avoid eating at all. This would lower your blood sugar and create additional problems. Suppose you cannot do justice to your diet and you're looking for an easy option that covers your nutritional needs then Naturello's multivitamin tablets are the perfect choice for you. Designed especially for postmenopausal women over 50, Naturello Whole Food Multivitamin is loaded with organic extracts, essential vitamins, and minerals, and is a perfect supplement to boost your regular lifestyle. For men, Naturello One Daily Multivitamin is known to boost energy levels and maintain general well-being. However, nothing could beat a healthy diet. These supplements will only aid you in filling in the gaps of nutritional deficiencies, but your diet has to be the primary source of nutrition, so make sure to eat healthy. Exercise daily. Wake up early in the morning, prepare your joggers, and head out for a brisk walk. Yeah, it's that simple. 
Exercising regularly helps you stay fit and fight away any imbalances in your body. Stay hydrated. Water washes out impurities and helps your body to maintain a healthy balance. So always check your water intake and keep a water bottle handy. Do not skip medications. Those already living with diabetes should always take their medications on time. Medications would help you deal with raised glucose levels and keep them under control. Don't let your blood sugar tell you how to command your life. You are the one in charge, so make healthy decisions and take the necessary precautions. Wish to know more about diabetes and its related warning signs? Discover some worthy insights into the world of diabetes from our videos. Watch 12 warning signs of diabetes that appear on your skin, or 9 warning signs that indicate you're at risk for diabetes. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about diabetes. How do you manage your blood sugar levels? Let us know in the comments below.